G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam and for today's video I'm going to show you how to configure PGP encryption so that you can encrypt and decrypt FTP files in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So let me step you through today's scenario. We're going to start off with our server slash desktop. We're going to have a file which we'll call our data.csv which we want to encrypt and send to our Salesforce Marketing Cloud. We'll start off with the human readable CSV file on our desktop. We'll then use a PGP encryption key to encrypt that file into a non-readable file format called data.csv.pgp. We'll then move that file from our desktop onto the SFTP, the Salesforce Marketing Cloud SFTP, as the same file name. We can then use a file transfer activity using a decryption method from Salesforce Marketing Cloud to decrypt that file back into its original data.csv importable state. We can then import that file into a data extension which will then export into another extract, our extract.csv, which we can then encrypt using a file transfer activity and a PGP encryption methodology to encrypt it to extract.csv.pgp, which will then move to our desktop before decrypting using a similar PGP decryption key before reading that file once again on our desktop. So to achieve this for today, we'll need two things, some data to encrypt and decrypt, our data and extract.csv, and also a PGP encryption key and software to create those keys. So let's start off with the data to use for today. In the video description below, I'll put a link to this GitHub resource. It's my marketing cloud samples resource. You'll find the sample rows.csv. You can click on this file with the blue text and it shows you the data that we'll be playing with today. And to download this data, we can simply go onto the raw button here and left click the raw button, which shows us the raw CSV. Here it is here. We can then right click and go save as. We can save this file as a .csv file to our desktop. So I'll save that file which we can now use for the rest of the activity. Jumping into Marketing Cloud now, we are going to be importing and extracting data from a data extension called our Sample Rows data extension. So let's create that new Sample Rows data extension using the same data structure that we just downloaded from the GitHub resource. Now for today, I'm going to create from existing as I already have a Sample Rows data extension. And I'll simply go through and create on my sample rows and I will show you my sample rows PGP. And I'll show you the data schema here. So you can pause the video and recreate this data schema in your marketing cloud. Making sure we have the ID field, first name, role, email address, join date and email opt-in fields, all with their correct data types, lengths, primary keys and mailable fields. Once we've done that, we'll go create and create ourselves that brand new data extension. We're using this one to import our decrypted data and to extract our unencrypted data to then re-encrypt and send back to our desktop. So our next step will be to get a PGP encryption key generated. Now to do this, we can use a software. I'm using a Windows device. I'll be using GPG4Win. Go to Google and type in GPG4Win and you should find the website here, gpg4win.org. We can click on the main page here to go through to the main website for this software. Once there, we're gonna find the details link right below the main download link here. By clicking on details, we should go to the download page, which has all of our demo information. But we want a specific version of this software, which is supported by Marketing Cloud. We have to get version 2.3.0. So we can go down here, we can find our repository of all existing downloads by scrolling down to all downloads and the files link here. By clicking this, we'll find the archive of all previous versions we scroll down past the release notes, we're going to find our .exes. We want GPG4Win 2.3.0. So I'll keep scrolling down until we find the most recent version. And here it is here, 2.3.0, this one here. I can click to download that file. And then we can, once it's downloaded, install that file, installing our GPG4Win software, which contains a program called Cleopatra, which we can use to create our PGP keys for today. So we'll now jump through the installation process for our GPG4 Windows. We can see here it's version 2.3.0. We can go next and we can make sure that we install Cleopatra, which is going to be our interface for creating those keys. Then go next and choose your installation directory, next and install. And we're good to go. Once this is done, we can install and then run Cleopatra. We can use that to create our GPG and PGP keys for use in Marketing Cloud for encryption and decryption.
Okay, so we've now installed the GPG for win and we've got the Cleopatra EXE open now. We can start to generate our PGP keys for today's encryption and decryption. So to start off with, we're gonna go up into our file settings here and choose to create a new certificate. So we can go new certificate. On this step, we're gonna create a brand new personal PGP key pair. So we'll choose that first option. Here we can put in our information that we need for our activity. That is, do show required, but you don't have to put in exact details. So for today, we'll just call it test. And for the email, I'll call it test at email.com. Again, these don't really matter too much. What does matter is the advanced settings below. If I click advanced settings, I wanna make sure that I am using the uh, RSA and RSA plus. I'm expending these up to the 4096 bits options, as you can see there, and leaving all of these options pre-ticked as they are. The Valid Until certificate usage will allow you to rotate keys by having keys expire and making you force publish new ones. But for today, we don't want this key to expire, so I'm not gonna put a Valid Until date. Just gonna leave it as used for certification, encryption, and signing. So with that, I'll choose OK. That's my brand new key, and so I'll now go Next. Name is not complete. Test care. There we are. And I'll go Next. So now I have to create our key. So I'll go create key. It's gonna ask us to move our mouse around or move the window around, and then it creates this new pass phrase here. Now the pass phrase should be a very private and very secure string of text that you can use to essentially password lock this key file. Now for today, I'm just gonna to make sure it's an easy to remember one. So I don't have to keep copying and pasting keys. So my passphrase for today is just gonna be cam test. In lower case, it shows me it's not a great password, but that's okay. I'll say yes, warning, it's not great, that's okay. I'm gonna use this passphrase. Once again, cam test. Okay, with our passphrase entered, it's gonna make us move this window around just to make some activity. There it is. And so our brand new key pair has been created. I'll then go finish, which means I can now see my certificate, which is, uh, contains my keys, have been created. And there is my record just there. Now to get access to these keys, what I can do is I can click on this item and then right click and I can choose to export these keys. Now the first one is to export the certificate, AKA the public key. And I can choose to export this to one of my files and I'll call this one my testing, testing public key. So I'm gonna save this as a .asc encryption key. I'll go save, perfect, that's my public key. Now for my private key. So I can once again right click on this uh, certificate and I can choose to export my secret key. Now this time, a very important step. I have to make sure that I choose my output file. So I click on my output file link and I can see straight away that I've got my public key there. I'm now gonna save my private key. So testing private key. I'm gonna save, but before I press save, I'm gonna make sure they also tick the ASC armor link here, which changes my file name to .asc. You see if it's not clicked, it shows it as a GPG key. We want it to show ASC by clicking that link. Once that's done, we'll go OK. And there we are, our secret key has been successfully exported. So we now have our private and our public keys on our desktop ready to use. With our private and public key created, we can now jump into Salesforce Marketing Cloud and we can import those keys into our key management. So I've jumped into our setup screen and under data management, under key management, we can create our two keys. So I'll start off with our public key by going create. On our first screen here, it's an asymmetric key type. This will be our cam public key. Now our public key, I can use our browse here and go to my public key.asc, there it is there, and go open. Because it is the public key, it's not the private key, so I leave the private key box unticked. I can create our cam public key. There it is there. Now to create our private key, it's a very similar step. I can jump in and go create. I'll go cam private. Except this time I choose, of course, my private key. There it is there. And of course it is a private key. So I tick my box, which then activates the pass phrase. Now from before, our pass phrase was cam test. So make sure I type it in correctly and then go save. It'll let me know if I type it in incorrectly. And hopefully it's correct, it is, and it's gone through. So there we have it. We have our cam public key asymmetric and also our cam private key asymmetric. So our two keys created, let's start our encryption and decryption process for today. So the first thing for us to do is to encrypt our file so that we can then transfer it to the FTP securely. So I'm gonna jump back into Cleopatra on my Windows desktop. I'm going to have a look at my key here. I'm gonna make sure it's selected and choose file and then encrypt our files. You can see here sign and encrypt files. I'll choose that option. 
then it allows us to choose a file to encrypt. I'm gonna choose my sample rows to encrypt and go open. It then says, okay, uh, what file do you want me to use and what encryption method should I use as well? well? I do want to just encrypt my file and that's it. So I'll leave that one ticked and then I'll go next. Then it says, which key would you like to use? Well, I'm gonna use my test cam key that I just created. Choose that one and add it as my encryption type. There we are, and then go encrypt. And there it is, operation complete. I can then finish that operation. If I take a look in my folder now, I will find, of course, my sample rows.csv and my two keys. Additionally, I'll find a new key created, which is my sample rows.csv.gpg. That is my encrypted file. I can now take that encrypted file and drag and drop it into my Salesforce Marketing Cloud FTP. So I have my FTP open here, and I can quite simply drag and drop my GPG file into my import folder, just like that. And I should now have a GPG file. There it is there, on my Salesforce Marketing Cloud FTP, ready to decrypt inside of Marketing Cloud. So now we have everything set up. We've got our encrypted file moved onto our Salesforce Marketing Cloud FTP import directory. So we're jumping into Marketing Cloud into Automation Studio. Let's create an automation to handle today's activities. So we'll start off by going create new automation. We'll call this one our PGP automation. We go done. We use a simple schedule step so we can use the run once feature for today. And we'll start off by using the file transfer activity to manage that GPG file that we just moved onto our FTP. So we go file transfer and I'll move that first step onto the canvas. I'm going to choose to create a brand new activity since nothing exists just yet. So we're going to create new file transfer. Now I'll call this one my PGP uh, decrypt. Since today we're going to be decrypting the file first. I'm going to use the manage file option, file file transfer, and then click next. Now our manage file allows us to choose a naming convention for that file that we're actually going to try and manage today. Of course there's sample rows with capital S, capital R, dot CSV dot that's GPG was the file naming convention, so GPG. We're going to get that file from our import directory in our exact target enhanced FTP. And we're going to decrypt it using our private key that we just uploaded a second ago. So that all done, we can choose next and then finish. What we can now do is test to make sure that it works by going save for our automation and then running this activity once just to make sure it picks up that file and decrypts it successfully on the FTP. So I'll go run and run once. And it ran that file straight away in just four seconds. So we should now have a decrypted file on our FTP. So we can check it out for ourselves by going back into our FTP and refreshing that import directory. And hopefully, yes we do, we have our sample rows.csv file ready to import. Let's go ahead now and run the import activity. So back in Automation Studio, go back to our workflow and we can jump in our import activity as our next step. We then choose, of course, to create a new import definition, which we'll do. This will be our sample rows import. We'll then choose to import our sample rows using, of course, the enhanced FTP. And there it is there, our brand new decrypted file. So I'll choose that file and make that our naming convention like that. Yes, there is a file found, perfect. Now I think this file is still using the Australian date format. So I'll scroll down to English Australian to make sure we have the correct date format. It's a comma separated file, perfect, and skip bad rows, next. Now because I did make the data extension for this one to be exactly the same as the fields uh, in that data extension, making sure I choose the right one there with zero current fields in it, zero current rows in it, go next. I should be able to use the overwrite function and I can map by header row because they should all match up. With that done, I'll go next and finish and that should import the file for me. So once again, I'll save this automation and just run the second step to make sure, again, the decrypted file can now be directly imported. So I'll choose my second step and go run and run. I can see the automation has started and hopefully it succeeded apparently. Perfect, it has done just a few seconds. So I can jump back into Email Studio and I'll refresh my folder and hopefully we find all 13 rows uploaded. And yes, we do. Perfect, in our sample rows, PGP, we have 13 rows. Let's make sure they are in fact the correct data. So I'll jump into our records here and just make sure it's come through quickly. It's looking pretty good. There is our decrypted data. So we did encrypt it on our desktop using our key, our public key. We then decrypted it on the FTP using the private key and uploaded it into Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So our next step now is to do a database or a data extension extract to then re-encrypt it and send it back through the FTP, back onto our desktop 
we can then decrypt the file on our desktop. So let's try that out. So back into the automation in Automation Studio, we'll go back to our workflow and this time we'll do a data extract activity. So I'm going to choose to extract and of course creating a brand new extract. So we'll go create new. This will be our sample rows extract. Our naming convention of course, let's use extract.csv to keep our naming conventions there, extract.csv. And we are going to do a data extension extract. There it is there. With our D extract, we're going to go next. We're going to choose, of course, our data extension custom key. So we go back, we can go into our properties here and get the external key of our data extension. Copy it, we go back to automation and paste. We're going to want to use a comma delimiter. So leave it there as a comma. We will include the column headers and we will do text qualification just in case. Actually, I think this data does not have any apostrophes in it, so we might be able to get away with no text qualifiers. So we'll leave that one unticked for now. With that done, we'll go to our summary, making sure it's all looking good, and it is, so we'll go finish. The extract is done as extract.csv. Our next step would be to do another file transfer activity to manage that file from our safe house, but also to encrypt it. So we'll try that out now. by using a file transfer as our fourth step. Going choose, and of course we're going to create a brand new activity. This one being of course our EGP encrypt. We're going to choose to move a file from the safe house. Again, we just extracted the data extension from our marketing cloud instance onto the FTP safe house. So we'll move the file from the safe house. And while we move it, we're going to choose to encrypt it. So the new convention we're going to be using here is to move the extract.csv and it's gonna be into our import directory and we'll be using our PGP encryption and we'll be using our public key this time, cam public, there it is there, to encrypt that file, again, using the public key. PGP selected and public. We'll then go next and we'll try this file out by going finish. Now with that done, we can run these last two activities side by side. So I'll save my automation. Once saved, I'm gonna run once and run just steps three and four. We just want to extract and then encrypt that file. And I'll go run and run. Perfect, and once again, the automation ran in just a few seconds and I can see the extract completed and then the file transfer also completed successfully. So we can jump back into the FTP, we can try it out for ourselves. I have my import directory here selected and I can refresh the import directory and hopefully we find a brand new file showing up. And we do, we have our extract.csv.pgp file. So we now have our encrypted file, which we can now download onto our desktop and try and decrypt. So we'll try it out by moving our extract.csv from the marketing cloud FTP into our folder, just like that. And we can now try to decrypt that file on our desktop. There it is there. So back in my Windows desktop now, and I do have the extract.csv.pgp file here. I can jump back into Cleopatra and I can choose to now decrypt that file. I can do so by going to my file options here and choosing to decrypt and verify files. I then choose the file to decrypt, of course my extract.csv.pgp file, and go open. I can then choose to decrypt and save that file to my output folder here, which I'll do. Decrypt and verify. And it's going to say OK. And there we go, should be able to jump back into my folder and there it is, my extract.csv. I should be able to now right click on that file and have a look at that file in Notepad. And there is my plain text version, looking perfect. A few things to note of course, as a few things have changed in this file, the date format of course is now the Salesforce Marketing Cloud date format extract. A little bit different how the data was imported. And also the capitalization of the Boolean fields here went from capitalized true to proper case true. But otherwise, I've now successfully managed my file from encrypted file from Marketing Cloud into a decrypted file back onto my desktop, completing the loop from desktop back to desktop. So there we have it. We've now completed the loop by sending some data from our desktop, encrypting it and sending the file across encrypted before decrypting it in Marketing Cloud and putting it into a data extension, before then extracting that data, re-encrypting it, transferring it before de-encrypting it once more. As you can see, it's a very easy process to follow and a very simple setup if you do want to protect your customer data files coming from your server into Marketing Cloud just in case someone was to intercept them in flight, there is no way for them to read those files. And I hope you enjoyed today's walkthrough for the PGP encryption method in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. If you have them, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear if you enjoyed these videos. 
Don't forget to give a big thumbs up and also to subscribe to the channel so that you are notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud content.